instructor Mikami will now demonstrate ski waza, or thrusting techniques. First of all, reverse punch. A jodan, or upper level punch. Chudan, middle level punch. Okay, notice the hip rotation again used in punching. Now the actual punching technique. Okay, note how the fist rotates from a palm up to a palm down position. Next demonstration of kime or focus. Kime is the muscular contraction at the very end of a technique. You can see this demonstrated very well by instructor Mikami. There is the muscular contraction at the very end of the technique. Contracts for a moment and then release again. Now another illustration of hip rotation. Rotating the hips from a half-facing hanme position to a front-facing position. Okay, this rotation with straightening out the uh, rear leg at the same time provides the torque in, in karate technique. All right, now everything coordinated. The use of hip rotation, the use of kime, or focus with muscular contraction, all together, all coordinated to make a perfect execution of karate technique. Now footwork, ashiwaza, okay, stepping in, stepping forward, stepping back. Now, the use of punching technique in conjunction with the footwork, oitsuki, or lunge punching. Combination techniques, jab, punching, jab, punching. Then at the end of the technique, returning to an on-guard position. There's the jab. Punch, punch, punch. Return to on-guard position. Realize this is done in slow motion. Master Mikami is, has tremendous speed. This is another combination technique. Here it is from the side now. Instructor Enoeda demonstrates Uchiwaza, striking technique. And the back fist. From the elbow joint, it snaps out and back again. Okay, the point of the elbow drifts out first and then from there the forearm snaps out and back striking the target with the back two knuckles udaken back fist strike well, there's a good view of how it snaps out and back again a hinge like action of the elbow joint Right now, stepping forward, same drill to work the back fist. Now, knife hand strike. Okay, and note how the other hand is used as a uh, draw arm or reverse arm to pull back as a knife hand strike is executed. 
Also the use of hip rotation. Now here it is from the side. Hip rotation, knife hand strike. Now reverse knife hand strike. Okay, using the hips, using the opposite hand to draw back to create additional speed and power in the strike. Now faster. You can see how everything is coordinated and works together. Now a similar striking drill, stepping in, striking stoke or stoge, knife hand strike. Now reverse. A elbow strike, empuge this time. Just driving in to the side with the point of the elbow. Okay, note the low stance on this, kibadach stance for the elbow strike. Now a combination using the, using the various strikes together. A knife hand strike, reverse knife hand strike. Step forward, elbow strike, elbow strike again. Jab, back fist, knife hand strike, reverse knife hand strike, elbow strike, elbow strike. Instructor M. Weki now demonstrates Kediwaza, kicking technique. The front, front kick is demonstrated first. Note how the knee rises up high and then the leg snaps out and back. This is front kicking with the ball of the foot. back. All right, same thing from a front view. The knee raises high and then snaps out and back. And now from a front stance, Okay, the rear leg pulls forward into a chambered or ready position, knee raised high and then snaps out and back. Here it is, full speed. Now, Ueki Sensei was known as one of the premier kickers in the Shotokan style. Now Mawashi Getty, roundhouse kick. And note how the hips turn around to provide the torque or power in the technique. They chambered first, hip rotation for torque, and then the snap of the knee joint provides the actual speed of the kick. a tremendous torque or power generated by that hip rotation. You can see it right there. Uh, now shifting to the other side. Left side roundhouse kick. 
striking with the ball of the foot. Now Yokogeri Kiyagi, side snap kick. Snapping the leg straight to the side and hitting with sokuto, or the edge of the foot. All right, now note the chambered position for the side snap kick. The knee points out in a 45 degree angle. Right, then the kick is snapped straight out and back again. There's a subtle difference between the side snap kick and the side thrust kick. Now, side thrust kicking. Now, note how the supporting leg rotates out as the kick is performed. By kicking straight down. This is konsetsugeti, or joint kicking, kicking towards the knee, or the support leg of your uh, opponent. When the supporting leg rotates on this kick, it allows the hips to go into a different position and provide for more of a thrusting action during the kick. All right, now note the flexibility involved to perform these kicks properly. Kicking straight down. This is a thrust kick against lower level targets. Ushirogeti, back kick. By kicking straight to the rear, okay, raising the knee up into a chambered position, just like the other kicks, but kicking straight back this time. Okay, the point of the heel, or kakato, is used to strike the target. Now, kicking combination, taking all the basic kicks and using them together in a combination as a training method. Front kick with the lead leg first. Front kick from the rear leg. Roundhouse kick. Side kick. And finally, the back kick. Front kick again, that concludes the, the technique. All right, here it is again, full speed this time. <laughs> 